morning, everyone. I don't know if you heard, but like the first lines of this song were like about about throwing their leader into the ocean. So welcome to Rogue State Revolution. This is a uh, political strategy roguelike game thing. Uh, it's not really a sequel. Or is it? I don't know if it is a sequel to Rogue State, which came out God, like five years ago, which is an eon in video game times. Uh, but this this one just came out earlier in March. I didn't even ask for a copy. I think they just sent me one. Uh, so thank you for that. Let's play it. How are you feeling today, Excellency? <laughs> Gonna do this one clearly. Oh. No, I've never done this one before. You might be thinking uh, real politics too. That's another political game I played a little while back, which I really like, and is actually coming out of early access in a little bit. be surprised um, no pandemics being watched by a chicken no chickens will appear in your game no wasps or hornets oh I do hate wasps and hornets I'll leave that alone for now gentle start yes okay let's do it next Gotta go with that. Morning, John. As I said, nothing but good things about it, King Octavius. One of the reasons I'm excited to play it. Are we in some kind of Groundhog Day scenario? Time I must do better. In Basenji today, there is a mood of jubilation as thousands crowd the streets in celebration. The first ever democratic election in the People's Republic of Basenji is a success. Five years ago, the monarchy was replaced by a transitional government. And now, finally, after great struggle, democracy has come to Basenji. For the first time in their turbulent history, both Basenji and ethnic Karifi are voting for a government of their choice. Twelve political parties campaigned, representing a wide political spectrum, with the largest, the Basenji Nationalist Party, sweeping the election with 72% of the vote. Oh my god, wow, yeah. 
Good morning, Your Excellency. My name is Sibiria. I have been assigned as your political strategist. And I am Yusuf. I will be serving as your military attaché. The first task before you is to appoint cabinet roles for representatives from across our great nation. These are critical positions. Once appointed, cabinet members are constitutionally protected. They cannot be removed from office. Indeed. You will be stuck with these ministers, for better or worse. I would advise you listen to their needs. And I say look for loyalty. There will be hard days ahead. We will need a cabinet that is on our side, no matter what. Excellency, it's time for us to form the government responsible for building Basenji's glorious future. I like the acting. Like, actual acting. Like, full motion video. Is this 1996? Like, what? <laughs> Like, do I have, like, did you guys ever have one of those really early CD-ROMs that had the tray that pulled out? Like, it wasn't even, like, it didn't have the, it had a separate tray. It had a separate, like, it had a separate tray that would pop out, and then you put the CD in the tray, and you put, slide the whole tray back in the drive. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, it was like a cartridge you put the CD in, exactly, yes. <laughs> Oh man, those are the days. I think that's when I played Mist on for the first time in like 1995 or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we got a we got a, we got a leading edge PC from uh, remember them from uh, from uh, uh, from BJ's, which is kind of like a Costco, but. It was East Coast, so it was BJ's, and uh, yeah, I remember that thing had the drive that would the, the cartridge thing that would pop out, and we put in mist into it, and we're like, "Ooh, it's so pretty! What do we do?" <laughs> Seventh guest, yeah, it's another one that sold a lot of CD-ROMs. Yeah, I think I think Mist and Seventh Guest and maybe Wing Commander Three sold like all the CD-ROMs. <sighs> all right. Let's see. Point cabinet. But it's... I have to say, I love that they did actual... A whale encyclopedia. Oh, yeah. Like Encarta and shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, Rebel Assault. Oh, yeah. Wow, watching actual full motion videos... Watching actual full motion video was look at the look at the chat that's um that spawned. Wow, good job, game. Doing the FMV route. That is that is bold in this day and age. Actual full motion video. Well done you. Because you know you had to hire act like actual actors and stuff. Okay, so we have to hire a Ministry of Development, a Ministry of Def a Minister of Defense, a Minister of Finance, and a Minister of Natural Resources. Let's take a look.
All right. Well, here's the mix. Oh, it's all men. Oh, well. <laughs> Very good. Know that every 12 months, you may appoint a new cabinet minister for an unstaffed ministry, should you choose to do so. More ministers mean more opportunities to do great things. And more people to keep happy. Excellency, while you get settled in your new office, I have scheduled your agenda for the next few weeks. Are you interested in hearing it? Most actions, aside from giving orders to units, cost a single action point. The number of action points available is equal to the number of ministers in our cabinet. Think of this as political capital to get things done. I've learned that our national power plant has not received a fuel shipment in weeks. The connecting roads were made unusable during the Civil War. By constructing a new road, oil will automatically be transported from the refinery to the power plant and electricity can be restored to Bisenji. Build the roads by click-dragging the line between two buildings. Ensure both the power plant and the oil refinery are connected to the same road network. Building roads costs one action point per month and treasury funds. Note that it is possible to both upgrade and bulldoze roads. Click on any road segment, including the one you just built, and select Upgrade in the road menu. Manipulating the camera should be straightforward. In addition to moving the cursor, you can use the WASD keys to pan the map or click and hold the middle mouse button. The mouse wheel is used to zoom in and out. Zooming out of the map will help you see the big picture of Bisenji. Oh boy. Oh, it shows the actual time down here. Oh, you can't see it. Hang on. No, oh, hang on. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, in the lower, um, lower right, there's an actual clock here. What? You can also rotate the map by clicking the rotation buttons, or by pressing Q or E. Finally, these buttons will immediately pan the camera to buildings of specific importance. Resource producers, power plants, and buildings that allow units to be recruited. That sort of thing. After the Civil War, the United Nations established aid camps to distribute food rations to our people. We must start to produce our own food and not rely on the UN. Constructing agricultural fields allows us to produce our own food for our people and have a new source of revenue to grow our treasury. Agricultural fields can only be placed on green terrain. From the right sidebar, click Construction. From there, choose the agricultural field. We will need to ensure that there is a working population available wherever we place them. Over time, Basenji cities will demand more than just food to stay content. Urban citizens who purchase these goods from our state-run producers put money back into our treasury. As food supply increases, you can dismantle a UN camp. I would suggest doing this only once every few months because removing UN aid workers will come with severe penalty to our diplomatic influence. For now though, I think we can weather it. Click on a UN camp and dismantle it now. We could spend funds and an action point to build a second agricultural field to support the anticipated growth in our city's demands next month. Alternatively, we could address the health crisis currently facing the province of Sabah. Constructing a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in this province would provide immediate care for those wounded during the Basanji Civil War. The choice is yours. Future-proof your economy and construct another agricultural field, or build a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in the province of Saba to care for our wounded.
Well done, Excellency. Thank you for putting your faith in me. You may have noticed that buildings consume both workers and power. Getting more power is a question of building more power plants. Getting more workers, however, is a much bigger problem. For now, it is prudent to spread your buildings out between your provinces, so you don't end up with a worker shortage. Excellency, Sabria, apologies for the interruption. Our military is in a state of disrepair, and I must insist we address that sooner rather than later. Construct a military base, Excellency. This will be where all our military units are produced. Good morning, Excellency. Youssef, the local news is reporting something difficult to believe. An industrious shepherd appears to have hybridized a bunch of old cars to produce an armored bipedal tank. What? I may have made a big mistake. <laughs> what? Why would anyone do that? Because it's awesome? Uh, because it's awesome? <laughs> oh, well done, game. Well done. <laughs> well done, game. Well done. Although, this is probably also a threat to our national security. Thankfully, we can use that military base to recruit some new troops and send them to disable it. We will need to train a military unit. All units have a role to play in combat, and it is for you to decide which unit to train. I would, however, suggest that you not train the SAM truck. It cannot attack ground-based units, including whatever that thing is. Order our troops to disable the civilian bipedal tank by first Excellency. clicking on the unit, then click dragging a line to the target. On our way. Outstanding. We have pulled the very frightened shepherd from the wreckage. Hopefully his insurance covers all the damage he caused. Thank you. I spent so much of my time. <laughs> Thinking about how to create a giant homemade walking tank out of old cars and recovered munitions, I never stop to think if I should. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Does anyone remember the name of Jeff Goldblum's character in Jurassic Park? Because I don't. I just remember Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park. That's all I remember. I don't remember his name, though. Ugh. Well, Excellency, this seems as good a time as any to introduce your ministries. This is where you set all the policies specific to our nation. This is pretty Keep great. On the Ministry of Finance for now. Guys, if you'll excuse me, I have to... Excuse me for a moment.
thank you for uh, your patience. I just suddenly had to use the facilities. Okay, so. Setting our tax policy to regressive will increase our tax base if our people's prosperity is low. Our nation's liberals will absolutely hate this move, but maybe we can win back their trust in other ways. Set our tax policy to regressive now. I keep forgetting that liberal means something else everywhere in the world, something different than it does here <laughs> in America. Uh, it really throws me a lot of the time. All right. Good. Let's check in now with the Ministry of Defense. Over time, a minister will research new policies for our nation. If you keep them happy by fulfilling the requests they routinely bring to us, that research gets completed faster. The minister is of the view that we might be able to learn something from this uh, bizarre incident with the armored walking vehicle. You can choose which policy opportunities a minister is going to research by clicking on it. Choose a policy opportunity for the Minister of Defense to research now. You can even choose that silly bipedal walking tank that means that much to you. But you can <laughs> cash in a secret facility if you plan on going down that road. What? Huh, really? Yeah, yeah, I figured. Ministers who are not given research priorities will create their own based on their personal interests. In fact, particularly belligerent ministers may do their own thing, regardless of what you say. You should suggest policy opportunities for the remaining three ministers to research now. I, I really like a lot of these. Legalize youth labor. Oh boy. Prohibit unions. Oh no. <laughs> great. Research will be conducted faster when the minister has a great deal of respect for you. Unhappy ministers may not do any research at all. Interesting. Excellency, our economy is pretty stagnant right now, which will limit our opportunities to better this great nation. I have a plan, however, that will give us a little extra boost. Let's review our national budget. Okay, how do we do that? Oh. Very good. I've got some more ideas on how we can increase our national treasury. A lot of things outside of our control can affect Basenji's monthly revenue. 
city growth, immigration, the price of commodities, our transportation infrastructure. So what you're looking at is our minister's best estimates based on a snapshot of the country as it stands today. Lowering provincial expenses helps a little, but it will also take its toll on the general well-being of those provinces. But look at these ministry expenses. You may want to change some policies in the Ministry of Development later on. Oh yeah, look at that. Ongoing unit maintenance costs are something to keep a close eye on as well. It's better to use a few units well than grow a bloated military. Because we have a Minister of Finance, we also have the option of taking out loans in the forms of bonds or an IBRD loan. The interest repayment terms for these are not kind, so I wouldn't suggest doing this unless we were in a real emergency. Inevitably, the best way for us to have nice things is to find the resources and sell them. Later, we can use those resources to craft more valuable goods and sell them instead. We may need to consider a few temporary provincial funding cuts until we get our economy jump-started. I'll leave it to you to decide where, but ultimately, I propose you cut just enough to establish a positive cash flow. <sighs> oh boy. Um... We should create a surveyor unit to scout for new resources. Resources will eventually make it possible for us to sell more complex products for our cities. But for now, we can export these raw materials to a neighbor if the demand exists. Click on the Palace at Mijimura by either finding it on the map or clicking on the Palace Fast Access button at the bottom of the screen. From there, Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene. Good morning, Excellency. Click on the survey you've just trained to reveal Excellency. all the potential resources in Bisenji. By exploring these sites, we can potentially uncover new resources for our economy. There is a possible resource deposit located in a tile not too far from his current location. Drag him to the nearest tile with the potential resource deposit. Note the black pin. Very well. Click survey adjacent tiles from the surveyor interface. Oh, whoa. Another oil. oil deposit. Well, this is helpful. Not all resource deposits pan out, so sending surveyors across Basenji to check them all will be necessary. Let's build a new refinery on that oil deposit. Select one from the construction menu. Now our nation has two oil refineries. One is sending oil to our power plant. 
Perhaps we can sell the oil from this one to one of our neighbors. At least, while well, we don't have a demand for plastics yet in Basenji. Click on the diplomacy menu. Can I build a road for it? But okay. Relations with those other nations we share a border with can be tricky. If we can maintain a strong, positive relationship, we can mutually prosper from expanding trade. If they grow to hate us too much, we may find ourselves invaded. Our relationship will depend greatly on their interests, which are not immediately known to us. Spending intelligence on research is one way to better understand these interests. In addition to their relationship with us, these neighboring states also have their own internal stability to be concerned about. A collapsing neighbor means lots of refugees seeking asylum in our borders, in addition to other challenges to manage. Take notice as well of the three major powers interested in influencing the future of the region. The United States of America, the Russian Federation, and the People's Republic of China. If any one of these powers sees us as a threat to their interests, we may find ourselves in a war we cannot possibly win. On the other hand, if we can eventually improve our relations to the point where an alliance is achieved, the others may leave us alone. Let's see if any of our neighbors happen to have an interest in Basenji crude oil. Once they're on the phone, select Negotiate Trade and click the Export tab. Then, make an offer to export oil. Not bad at all! We'll need to make sure there's a road connection between the oil refinery and the border checkpoint, or else our oil will never reach them and no money will be earned. Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. Good morning, Excellency. Chicken stand? Oh boy. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> oh god. They're ambivalent to us. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Make sure your surveyor is on his way to find new resources for us. Over time, resource producing buildings will experience corruption. Greasy hands will start cutting into our national bottom line. You should hire a facilities inspector from the palace at Mejimra to travel between your resource producers and address this. Very well. Perfect. The facilities inspector has an action that allows you to eliminate corruption that accrues in the resource producing buildings. Yes. Surveyors, facilities inspectors, and clerics can consume an action point to double their movement distance. Keep this in mind if you find yourself with extra action points. Excellency, Sabria. Apologies for the interruption. Again, intelligence reports that a small contingent of rebels and dissidents calling themselves the Basenji Liberation Front are on the move toward what's left of that armored bipedal vehicle. The Basenji Liberation Front? They're a small union of various interest groups with the united goal of destabilizing our democracy and removing you from power. What could they want with a pile of metal junk in the deep desert? Regardless, reports indicate they are armed and we must respond with force, Excellency. If the public feels we can't keep them safe, we may end up playing right into the insurgents' agenda. Our units start fiercely loyal to our regime, Excellency. Just be aware that the military is looking for you to make smart decisions. Sending units on suicide missions, making poor choices, and making our nation into a laughingstock may result in our soldiers doubting your leadership and side with the enemy. Every unit can only attack once per month, and we're anticipating at least a couple targets. We may need to field more troops. Eliminate the BLF units before they are able to reach the wreckage. Excellency, 
on our way. On our way. Spurs. Good mo Every unit can only attack once per month, and we're anticipating at least a couple more troops. Eliminate the BLF units before they are able to reach the wreckage. These guys are blocking them. All right. Every unit can anticipate at least a couple targets. See, it would be prudent to have four Excellency, as important as our Negligent policing? The lower graph shows that province's ratings for prosperity, education, health, safety, the environment, and entertainment. Keeping these from getting too low in all five provinces is going to be crucial if you want the people to stay content. In many provinces, our environmental ratings are falling. A few are getting particularly low. Let's talk about what we can do about that. Go ahead and click anywhere to close the provincial detail panel. Traffic congestion can restrict the flow of goods, and more importantly, drag down your regional environmental, entertainment, and prosperity ratings. Let's check the traffic lens to see if this is the case. What? Oh. Most of the roads are tinted green. It appears the traffic is not good for us. If too many industries export goods on the same roads, you will eventually want to upgrade those roads by clicking on the road segment and pressing the Upgrade Roads button. So, let's consider what else we can do to improve our environmental rating. At the provincial level, you can increase funding to conservation, but this will increase your treasury expenses every turn. We could also construct a nature preserve or public gardens to improve your environmental rating, which have a larger one-time cost. At a nationwide level, we can make some policy changes. They might not cost us any money, but they will likely result in other trade-offs for consideration. In the Ministry of Natural Resources, we can ration power and sacrifice our entertainment rating in all provinces for our environment rating. 
We can also change our governing principles from an exploitation perspective to a stewardship perspective. There is no one way to accomplish anything. The choice is yours as to how you want to proceed. You are the glorious. Good. It will take time to see the results of these improvements. So, as a longer-term goal, I would suggest you think about building more agricultural fields, a plastics factory, and a manufacturing plant with a view to getting processed food production online before your citizens start to demand it. Build plastic factory. Notice the resource production and demand icons on the right sidebar. These are the five products that cities may grow to demand over time. The left number under each product represents how much you are producing at present, minus any products consumed in order to produce other products. The right number represents how much of that good is demanded by our cities at this time. It's possible for us to produce more than what is demanded. When this happens, consider exporting the surplus to a friendly neighbor. This is how we make money. Tax dollars will not be enough. We need to start building production chains to manufacture processed foods, household goods, consumer electronics, and luxury goods. Sell them to our neighbors at first with trade agreements. Then, when urban citizens start to demand them here, we will sell to our own people as well. Processed food should come first. Hold the mouse over the processed food is going to require more farms, more oil refineries, a plastics factory, and a manufacturing plant. We will also need them all connected by roads. Oh, that's nice. It tells you. Thankfully, we already have extra oil that we're exporting. If you construct a plastics factory in a manufacturing plant and connect them to the road network, the oil will automatically be diverted to plastics production while you send our surveyor to seek up new deposits. Okay. Fantastic. Any food or processed food purchased by our citizens or by other countries is money that goes straight into our pockets. Keep an eye on your production chains and aim to produce at least 80 a turn. Over time, you should be surveying more resources or importing the resources you need in order to produce household goods, consumer electronics, and luxury goods. As important as our economy is, you might also want to consider as a longer term goal trying to grow our intelligence capabilities. Building an intelligence agency and training spies will help us find BLF camps hidden across our nation. Excellency, on our way. For passage. On our way. And finally, keep an eye on your worker count. The only way to get more workers in the century is to open the country up to more immigrants. And that's something you need to negotiate with our neighboring countries. Oh. Immigrants are valuable members of our society, but if our relations with their country of origin go poorly, you can expect their approval of our government to falter as well. There's a lot going on here. It's pretty amazing. I note that there are certain uh, emergency <laughs> measures that can be used to relocate your population within this NG. I looked at that earlier. Crisis. 
But they're ugly solutions. We can talk about them if it becomes necessary. I hope it never becomes necessary. I think we've bombarded our glorious leader with enough information, Yusuf. Let's go. Good luck, Excellency. Excellency, these numbers represent civilian and military units that don't have any movement orders assigned. You may want to consider sending them somewhere before ending your turn. field. I don't have a lot of money, so...
Excellency. Oh, for God's sakes, really? Okay, well, let's do over here, I guess. doing great on money not doing great on power Can't upgrade that field, which is a shame. Can't really afford a new one. field cost of kind of need it though I must need a power plant well, we're gonna have to build I think another agricultural field because Food is getting scarce. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh crap. Oh, that's the surveyor. Interesting. You want a stadium. Excellency, lots of people are very unhappy and have taken to protesting in the uh -oh. streets. This is not a good situation to be in, but there is still time to make things right. While a protest occurs in any city, the loyalty of any ministers from that city's province will drop by 1% every month. Protests that occurs in a city belonging to a province with low safety can turn into a riot. Riots are worse than protests. The loyalty of any ministers from that city's province will drop by 3% every month. I know we can't please everyone, but it may be prudent to take a closer look. See those red spots on the map? That's where your approval ratings are really bad. Click on some of the tiles in that region, and the citizens who live there will appear at the bottom of the screen. In my experience, unhappy people never shut up. If you hold the mouse over the citizens, a tooltip should yield some choice quotes about why they're so upset with you. Perhaps it's because you haven't given your political staff a raise in forever.
Yeah, it's not happening. Uh, connection you've had a road connection oh there's protests there too Connection to what's he hooey? That we did have a road connection. Oh. Right, okay. I'm not doing great. Uh, <laughs> I can't do anything about the power. I don't know what the power. I can't build another power plant. Sorry, y'all. Uh, cut, if I, even if I cut everything, it's not going to... Even if I cut everything. Nope. Do need another power plant. I don't think I have... that yet. You know, it's a stadium, fine. I'll build a goddamn stadium. stadium here. All right, fine. We'll build a stadium. Uh... 
Excellency, you may not have noticed, but we now have a worker shortage in one of our provinces. This happens when you order the construction of all our buildings in one province without taking into consideration how workers are distributed through the nation. Oops. Every month, buildings with insufficient workers will, at random, be shut down. The problem is gradually self-correcting. Workers from Basenji provinces with a surplus of labor will very slowly migrate to provinces with a labor shortage. But they will resent having to pack their things and move just to keep... A Minister of Defense can research a policy to use our troops to, uh, accelerate. If you want to increase the overall labor capacity of Basenji, consider contacting our neighbor... Oh, I can't do anything right now. Oh, crap. Zero coming in from our fields. I just built another power plant. Worker shortage, right. Um, got another farm here. in the way of grasslands, do you? I'm doing terribly. Yeah, I was trying to get a stable tourism up. I built a hotel and an airport. And I was going to put more money to tourism, but then I lost all the power.
Yeah. Still not great on power. We're gonna lose all the money. <laughs> Thank you for that. Now, why is your department using so much money, though? <laughs> Where are we on the solar power? Oof, almost there. Thank God. We're going to need that real soon. We're going to need that real bloody soon. Um... Okay, the food things are back online. We need to construct another power plant, though. Um, we need to construct it somewhere else, though. But it needs oil. Oh, wow. Great. Um, we build on flat terrain. Okay. Almost there. Crap. Yes. Great. Um Be safe.
Hey, Ponicus, good morning. I'm not doing well at my first attempt at this, but didn't have expected to, really. Sorry, I thought I heard what might be a vomiting cat, but it was really just my wife making noises before she left. I'm like very attuned now to the sound of vomiting cats. I will, if I hear one starting, I will wake up in the middle of the night and if the cat is on the bed, I will pick them up before they can puke on the bed. <laughs> and, uh... And so, like, anything that sounds like a cat about to vomit, I'm like, what, what, what? Like, sometimes someone walks outside, I think it's a woman with certain high heel shoes, that sounds exactly like a cat about to vomit. And so I'm like, what? Huh? What? <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, now the worst is when you don't hear it, and then you wake up to something wet on your feet. You're like, oh, no. That happened to my wife. Um, yeah, we didn't hear the cat uh, throw up, and then she put her feet in it. Yeah, Get it. After we got a cat, one of the first things I got was a water-resistant mattress cover. <laughs> because, yeah, um, but uh, if you if you ever own a cat, you know the joy of doing laundry at 3 a.m. because your cat puked on the sheets. And yes, you have other sheets you could use, but you can't let that cat puke sit there. Whoa, hang on a second. Hang on. Ugh, what the? That. Weird. Shooting pain in my eye for a second there. That was weird. Oh, God, a pet cleaner vac thing. Jesus. How big is your dog? Yeah, we just have the uh, we just have the carpet cleaner stuff, the foamy thing that actually does an amazing job of dealing with cat puke stains. Okay, sixty five pounds isn't a huge dog. It's a it's a moderate dog. Poor thing has a sensitive tummy. Uh -huh. Okay, well, good. Looks like our budget might be going back up. Uh, do we have enough for another power plant? enough for another solar power plant. Let's take a look. Definitely need... Definitely need... No, we don't. Close, though. Close. We're gonna need more food soon, too. Oxide mines, huh?
Can we build another oil plant there? Yes. I go right away. Okay. I don't think I can build a museum in wherever the hell you want me to build one. Yep, do not have the money for a museum. Great. Excellency. Whoa. A gold mine. That's good. And you here now. That's great. Well done, man. I can't move you. I can't even tell you to move. Okay, fine. Oh. I can't really... Aff can I afford that right now? Point to minister? Okay on power, we're doing okay on food. Okay. No more worker shortages. We have a gold we have a we, have a, we can make a gold we can make luxury goods now at some point. Um just need more money. But we're okay on power now. Didn't be disabled due to blackouts. I love the hotel. Oh, that's good. Huh. Guy's just so cool. Grocery shelves are empty. Yeah, I'm working on the food thing.
That's neat that you can cycle through your cities and see what their demands are. That's a clever little UI thing right there that I like quite a bit. Wasn't there one city that what wasn't having its demands met? Which city was that? That one? Oh, they need f well, Why don't they have food? Oh. What? They have roads? They don't have roads? Like, why aren't they getting food? I just built some roads. Oh, the roads are already there. On our way. This doesn't look like it, but I guess it does have a road. So why aren't they getting any food, though? We're not out of food. At some point, I should dismantle that one of the UN camps, I think. Chicken stand. Over road to whatever this is. No, we don't have enough intelligence points to research. Everyone wants bauxite, apparently. chicken stand. For power again. Yes. If they are hiding anything, I'll find it. Oh, 
Why are people protesting? Yeah, like, why aren't they getting enough food, I wonder? Uh, money is going back up, which is good. Intelligence is going up, but for some reason... Some bloody reason. There's an oil field there, but we don't want to build another oil thing, do we? Build a solar plant. Might give us enough. should have enough power. Hopefully now, <clears throat> with enough power, hopefully, with enough power. Okay, good. Things are back on track. No worker shortages. Okay, so now... Probably... like how low these prosperity numbers are. Okay. Oh, because I hired another minister, now we have another point. Ew. We should build at least one more power plant. One more solar power plant to, uh... Who's got more workers? You have more workers. You should build one more solar power plant. So that doesn't happen again. And the next turn, we'll build another agricultural field.
All right, man. I, I really, like, a museum, like, that would have been nice, but yeah, no, there's just, there's just no time for that. Oh, my God. Building special actions. Protesting? Oh yeah, you are over here. Excellency. Excellency. Yeah, there's a lot going on here that, um, which I appreciate. You know, I appreciate there's a lot going on here. A lot of good UI elements in this one, too. Chicken stand right there. Okay. Yeah, we can't build an intel. We don't have enough money for an intelligence agency right now. What we need to build is another agricultural area. Um. Let's see.
We're gonna have enough money. We're still exporting. Uh, so let's see. We, I think we can make a gold mine yet. Maybe that's what we'll do next turn, though. We're gonna have more money. Um. We can make luxury goods. Maybe. I should have had this guy moving. Ah, oh, stupid. Um, why can't I move you? There we go. Very well. Gold mine. the road, right? And I, I thought I built the road. It built the road. Sex. Um, derp. Okay, so now I built a road, right? It's connected, right? There it is, yeah. So yeah, I can't afford a smelter yet, but um, and the mine can't function without a smelter. Oh, well, okay, one thing at a time. How much is a smelter? Okay, I should be able to afford that in the next turn. Anything else I can do right at the moment? Was I getting hedge fund investments? Missing a road connection. <laughs> or a manufacturing plant that demands our product. Yeah, well, don't worry. That's going to be the next thing I build. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be the next thing I build. So one thing at a time. I don't listen, Spaz. <laughs> I don't listen when people tell me things. We'll do in the bus.
bus flute. enough intelligence can't we research them I have points and I have intelligence I want to research chicken stand I need another manufacturing plant building um, processed foods. rioting in the streets. When you ignore protesters and provincial safety is low, violence breaks out. Not only will these riots lower your approval with ministers from that province, it will encourage our people to side with the Basenji Liberation Front. If you hold the mass over rioting citizens, a tooltip should yield some choice quotes about why they're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. The UN is still here because they're providing food, you dingbats. Um, okay, great. Illegal immigrants are taking our gerbs. Uh... Of citizenship, we don't have a ministry of citizenship. Oh, okay, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna. That's horrible. Um, Rapola. Okay, oh boy, oh boy, what do I do about this? Um,
All right. Well, oh, whoop. wrong button. I feel like I can rotate things though. Spare that? Yeah, I'll be out of here somewhere. Excellency. doing great right now <laughs> but it is time to go I like this this is Rogue State Revolution I like it there it like there's a lot going on under the hood you have a lot of options on how to deal with things um you have a lot of options on how to deal with things It's got a good sense of humor. It's got full motion video, you guys, which is amazing. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm going to call it for this morning, but Spaz and I will be back later today at 4 p.m. Pacific time uh, for flashing lights. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Hang on. Yes, flashing lights, which you haven't played in a while. And uh, that last time we had a blast uh, doing policing and firefighting and saving cats from trees and things like that. So that's what we're going to play this afternoon. Uh, yeah, saving cats, putting out fires. Uh, apparently a lot has changed since we last played, so I'm excited to revisit it. Uh, so thanks so much for hanging out today, y'all. Uh, this game is really great. I'm, t I'm not good at it, but that doesn't mean it's not good. There's a lot going on here. A lot of moving parts. Um, but it's also got a bit of humor and it keeps it a little light, uh, most of the time. So yeah, this is really good. Rogue State Revolution, y'all. Have a great day. We'll be back in about eight hours. Uh, see y'all then. <laughs>